Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we're looking at Power Rangers crossover with Street Fighter Lightning Collection. Morphed Ryu Crimson Hawk Ranger. And the corner it says plastic free packaging Hasbro. And um, I got this from Hasbro Pulse. I can't remember if these were exclusive to them or not. I really cannot. Street Fighter, there we go. And on the back, we have a picture of him with all his things on there. Ooga! Is it Ooga? I can't remember. It's been a long time since I played Street Fighter now. Uh, automatically, that bugs the shit out of me. Not gonna lie. Don't usually swear on my reviews. But that bugs the out of me. Because, because we don't actually get a Raoul head. Which really irritates me because if you can do a proper crossover with Street Fighter, you would do that. Or you would do an actual two pack where you would have Ryu uh, in his Street Fighter costume, karate costume, um, and then you would have him in a morphed version. That would be your crossover. This is a load of freaking crap. Um, and, and I'm probably annoyed at myself that I brought this. That I couldn't resist the temptation to be that completist. That I couldn't say no, Hasbro. I'm not buying that because I actually don't like that because you have not delivered the full shebang with it. So, um, moaning aside, let's have an actual look at the figure. Okay, so out of the packaging, here he is with his... Um, I've put one of the flame effects on there now. The, the stand is... Oops. Uh... I always say it is a nice addition. However, this piece on the end is very thin. And I feel like over time, the more you change this, the more you will end up breaking it. Well, see, it just pops apart very, very easily. Um, and I'm sorry, I've gone straight into accessories. So it comes with the, the Phoenix, which is pretty cool. Which I think, where did you put, uh, you put that in there? Like so. It's pretty decent. And then you've got this one, which I believe is the foot kick, which I will obviously um, put on his foot at some point. So here he is, and um, I've already got him trying to do Oga. Oh, is that right? Yep. Which, well, I'm just going to say it is anyway. So <laughs> he does have a sort of uh, Tommy, sorry, maybe a white ranger shield going on there. I perhaps would have liked a little bit of sort of blackish sort of detail in there perhaps a bit more of a metallic gold maybe or a darker gold it seems very um very light gold and sort of bends towards probably a little bit of yellow then they try to incorporate the red band which Ryu would have worn on his head if I remember correctly and that does move around like so and then he has the little eyes there now I guess the thing for me um and and I honestly think It'd be cool if they did a comic now of a crossover between Street Fighter and Power Rangers. I feel like that would be pretty decent. Um, I guess my my view on this is it's it's just a money making scheme. They've agreed something with Street Fighter, Camcon, whoever owns that brand, I'm not entirely sure. Or that Sega, whoever. Does Sega even exist? Not even sure. And they've just said, hey, do you know what? Why don't we just make some Street Fighter Power Rangers? They're literally just making Power Rangers for the sake of it. They're creating Power Rangers. And there's no context to it. There's um, no fan um, given, I feel. So like I said, if they'd given us a Ryu figure that went with this, this would be an awesome set. This would be worth the money. Instead, they've given us a Power Ranger that they've just created. They've said, oh, it's based on a Street Fighter crossover that we just made up. And, oh, we're going to try and do this. Now, it, it bugs me. It bugs me. I, and I was going to try not to... Um, bitch and moan but i can't help it i really am uh irritated myself because there are power ranger characters that that i want and instead we're getting these give us um dulux andros with his um his uh, battle mode do you know what i mean that's the sort of stuff we want as fans well i mean i could i could be wrong i mean if if i'm wrong tell me you want that you're wrong and you think this is the best thing that's happened. I, I feel like completists are buying these. But I feel like these could easily be peg warmers, in my opinion. 
So it's really bizarre. So it's really white here. You can see how white it is. And it goes to sort of like, um, like a cream white with a sort of gold going all the way through. And then you've got the gold boots and then the white sort of at the bottom. And then you've got the classic, because I think he used to wear white sort of punching gloves, I remember right then. You've got some markings there, which is pretty decent there. I'm going to try and zoom in here. So you've got the belt there. It's pretty nice. Nice bollocks. Looks pretty decent. And um, he does have a pinless arm as well, which I think is pretty decent. So no discoloring there. So... From the way he looks, I'm not going to lie, he does look exceptionally good. It's just the fact that, was he needed? Did we need this release? Probably not. And then from what I've seen in terms of Ken and um, whoever they've chosen to be the Green Ranger, they don't look that good. I mean, at least this and Chun Li looked, in my mind, pretty, pretty darn decent. I was very, very impressed with these. Um, in terms of how they look, I just don't agree with how they've delivered this. All right, so I'm going to try and get him into a pose where I've just put his foot in there. Can I get his foot in there? You can sort of get that up like that. do that like that maybe he should have had a stand where he could be you know flying through i do need to invest in some stands by the way i think that's how it's meant to be i could be wrong there we go so articulation is did i just show the morpher i think i showed the morpher Head can go all, all the way around. In fact, his neck went with him on that go. Now, the arm is not going to go up like this, but if you can carefully get it like that, if you want, you can go up like that. There is some movement there. Certainly some movement there. Double on the arm, which is pretty decent. A little up or down there. Just be careful because you could stretch the peg and just spin around like that. Sorry, that was very hard to see. There is movement on the diaphragm. There is an up and a crunch from the abs. There, you can pull this down to get some more flexibility if you want. You can do pretty much the splits. You can do the splits. What am I going on about? So that is decent. So that's what that provides. So that is pretty cool. Swivel there. And then there is... Did I, do this? I did swivel there. Double joint on the leg. Swivel there. Lefty, righty, upsy, and a downsy. There we go. He is looking cool. Don't talk to me because I'm just from Street Fighter. I have no real face. Um, <laughs> there we go. So just to wrap up the video, here are um, Raul versus uh, White Ranger, a.k.a. Tommy. Uh, just to show you him against... Uh, an actual Power Ranger. Uh, do I think that this is a cool figure? Yes, I do. Do I think it could have been better executed? Yes, it certainly could have. Um, they could have fought a little bit more and uh, given a bit more to the fans. Um, the price also was very expensive. If you think about the price uh, a year ago, I say a year ago, maybe a year and a little bit ago, you would have probably got a two pack for almost a price for a few more quid than what this cost. Or maybe, maybe, all right, maybe a bit, bit generous, maybe about five, six quid more than what this cost. So the price as well is phenomenal for something that is, it could, even if it given us a row head, that would have just been something, but they didn't. Um, it's just a little bit disappointing, I feel. I feel like they should have gone back and given us more Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles round two because there was the Ninja Power Rangers, there was also the other characters I think we would have easily brought Rocksteady and Bebop to fit into that six inch line as well. They should have gone down that route and now we've got another karate crossover with Cobra Kai coming up as well as more Street Fighter figures coming out. I just feel like it's um, 
just milking the brand rather than giving us something special because if Power Ranger looks cool, but is it special? Probably not. But you tell me what you think. I would love to hear what you think on this figure. Am I being too harsh? To, um, oh, you didn't give me the Power Ranger I wanted? Um, or am I telling the truth and being honest and, and saying what perhaps we're all thinking about these Hasbro lines? Tell me. I want to hear it. So anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important these days. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, appreciate you subscribing. If you are subscribed, I really appreciate you for doing that and uh, supporting my, my channel and helping me grow. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.